it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about multiplying rational algebraic expressions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to multiply rational algebraic expressions. We need to recall multiplying fractions, loss of exponents, operations on integers, multiplying polynomials, factoring polynomials, and for the last, simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Before we proceed on our lesson, let's have first multiplying fractions. Given a over b times c over d, that is equal to ac over bd where b is not equal to 0 and d is not equal to 0. So perform the indicated operations. So here we have the method 1. For number 1, given 3 over 5 times 1 over 2, first we're going to multiply the numerators. So numerator times numerator, it gives us 3 times 1. Second, multiply the denominators. So denominator times denominator, it gives us 5 times 2. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then, divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. So 3 and 10 have no in common. Therefore, that is the final answer. For number 2, given 4 over 7 times negative 3 over 2. So numerator times numerator, it gives us 4 times negative 3. Then denominator times denominator, it gives us 7 times 2. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 7 times 2 is positive 14. Then divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor which is 2. Negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So we have negative 6 over 7 as the final answer. Now, let's have the second method using cancellation. Let's use again 4 over 7 times negative 3 over 2. So first, factor the numerator and denominator completely. 4 is equal to 2 times 2 over 7 times negative 3 over 2. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Then, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So we have on the numerator, 2 times negative 3 times 1. So any number multiplied by 1, still the number. Then, on the denominator, we have 7. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 over 7. So in any method, we come up the same answer. For number 3, we have negative 20 over 21 times negative 7 over 5. So factor the numerator and denominator completely. It gives us negative 20 is equal to negative 4 times 5. 21 is equal to 7 times 3 times negative 7 and 5 is a prime number. So we just copy. Then divide or cancel out common factors. We have 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Negative 7 divided by 7 is equal to negative 1. Then, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. We have negative 4 times negative 1 all over 3. So, negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third. And that is the final answer. Now, for our lesson, we have multiplying rational algebraic expressions. To multiply rational expressions, first, factor the numerator and denominator completely. Second, divide or cancel out common factors. Third, multiply the remaining terms on both numerators and denominators. So given a over b times c over d, simply multiply numerator times numerator, then denominator times denominator. So we have ac over bd, where b is not equal to 0 and d is not equal to 0. Now, 
For you to understand, let's have the following examples. Perform the indicated operations. For number 1, we have the given 4a squared over ab times 5b squared over 12a. So first, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So 4a squared is equal to 4 times a times a over ab times 5b squared is equal to 5 times b times b over 12a is 4 times 3 times a. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. A divided by A is equal to 1. A divided by A is equal to 1. B divided by B is equal to 1. And last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. On the numerator, we have the remaining 5 times B. And on the denominator, we have the remaining 3. So, we have 5B over 3. For number 2, given x over xy times x squared plus 4x plus 3 all over x squared minus 1. First, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So we have x over xy times x squared plus 4x plus 3 is a general trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. So we're going to factor c which is 3 whose sum is the coefficient of the middle term which is 4. So we have the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. So 1 times 3 is 3 and 1 plus 3 is 4. Then, x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares, or DOTS. So the factor is the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 1. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So we have x divided by x is equal to 1. x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is equal to 1. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. On the numerator, we have the remaining x plus 3 times 1, still we have x plus 3. On the denominator, we have the remaining y times quantity x minus 1. So we have x plus 3 all over y times the quantity x minus 1. Or if we are going to simplify the denominator, we have x plus 3 all over xy minus y. And that is the final answer. For number 3, we have the given a squared minus 9 all over a squared plus a minus 20 times a squared minus 8a plus 16 all over 3a minus 9. So first, we're going to factor the numerator and denominator completely. So, a squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares or DOTS. So, the factor is the quantity a plus 3 times the quantity a minus 3. Then, a squared plus a minus 20 is a general trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. So, we're going to factor negative 20 whose sum is the coefficient of the middle term which is positive 1. So, we have the quantity a plus 5 times quantity a minus 4. Now, to check, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 5 minus 4 is positive 1, which is the coefficient coefficient of the middle term. a squared minus 8a plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial. So the factor is the quantity a minus 4 times the quantity a minus 4. And 3a minus 9 has a common monomial factor, which is 3 times the remaining a minus 3. Then divide or cancel out common factors. So we have a minus 3 divided by a minus 3 is equal to 1 a minus 4 divided by a minus 4 is equal to 1. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So on the numerator, we have the remaining quantity a plus 3 times the quantity a minus 4. On the denominator, we have the remaining 3 times the quantity a plus 5. Then, on the numerator, using the FOIL method, we can simplify. And the result is a squared minus a minus 12. On the denominator, we can use distributive property. So we have 3a plus 15. And that is the final answer. 
For number 4, we have the given b squared minus 4b plus 4 all over b cubed minus 8 times b squared plus 2b plus 4 all over b plus 2. So first, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So we have b squared minus 4b plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial. And the factor is the quantity b minus 2 times the quantity b minus 2. Then, b cubed minus 8 is a difference of 2 cubes. And the factor is the quantity b minus 2 times the quantity b squared plus 2b plus 4 times b squared plus 2b plus 4 is a prime and also b plus 2. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So, cancel b minus 2 divided by b minus 2 is equal to 1. That is a common binomial factor. And b squared plus 2b plus 4 divided by b squared plus 2b plus 4 is equal to 1. And that is what we call common trinomial factor. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So on the numerator, we have the remaining b minus 2 and on the denominator, we have b plus 2. And the result is b minus 2 all over b plus 2. For number 5, we have the given y squared minus 4y minus 5 all over y squared minus 25 times negative 5 minus y all over 2y. So first, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So y squared minus 4y minus 5 is a general trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. So we're going to factor negative 5 whose sum is the coefficient of the middle term which is negative 4. So we have the quantity minus 5 times the quantity y plus 1. Now to check, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 1, we're going to subtract and follow the sign of the larger number. So we have negative 4. Then, y squared minus minus 25 is a difference of two squares or DOTS and the factor is the quantity y plus 5 times the quantity y minus 5 times negative 5 minus y can be rearranged and we're going to factor out the negative 1 and the result is negative 1 times the quantity y plus 5 so the negative y turn into positive y then negative 5 turn into positive 5 then 2y is a prime Next, we're going to divide or cancel out common factors. So y minus 5 divided by y minus 5 is equal to 1, which is the common binomial factor. Then, y plus 5 divided by y plus 5 is equal to 1. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. On the numerator, we have the remaining negative 1 times the quantity y plus 1. On the denominator, we have the remaining 2y. So the result is negative 1 times the quantity y plus 1 all over 2y. Or using the distributive property on the numerator, the result is negative y minus 1 all over 2y. Now it's your turn. Do it yourself. Perform the indicated operations. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching! Please like and share! And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!